On a knife gate valve equipped with a cylinder actuator, it may be necessary to occasionally test and adjust the cylinder stroke. This generally takes place after maintenance has been done to either the valve or the actuator. The purpose of the stroke test is twofold. One, ensure that the gate of the valve is closing all the way. And two, ensure the gate opens far enough to clear the port opening. A note on safety. Service to valves, actuators, and accessories should only be attempted by experienced personnel. Keep clear of port opening, gate, moving parts, and pinch points. Do not attempt to loosen parts or make adjustments while the cylinder is under pressure. Always wear all applicable personal protective equipment. For this task, you will need wrenches for the bolts on the gate clip, jam nut, and adjusting screw. You'll also need an air supply hooked to a blowgun with a rubber tip. The air supply should be set between 5 and 7 psi. To adjust the cylinder stroke, it's recommended that the valve be removed from service. Step 1. Set the valve closure distance. The actuator should close the gate fully against the jams. Check this by closing the gate. To adjust the gate closure, remove the clip bolts Loosen the jam nut Retract the cylinder Rotate the clip to thread it into or out of the piston rod Return the cylinder to the gate Tighten the jam nut and reinstall the bolts. Close the gate to see if more adjustment is necessary. The cylinder should still have at least 1 16th of an inch of stroke remaining to ensure valve properly engages with the jam's end seat. Step 2. Set the valve open distance. The actuator should open the gate so it clears the port opening approximately 1 16th of an inch. If the gate remains in the port opening during operation, premature wear and leaking will occur. Check that the gate clears the port opening by fully opening the gate. To adjust the gate open limit, loosen the jam nut on the adjusting screw. Thread the adjusting screw into or out of the cylinder to decrease or increase the cylinder stroke. Move the valve to the open position and check that the gate is in the appropriate position. It's important that the gate be out of the flow path, but still on the seat. If the gate is adjusted too far open and it isn't still in contact with the seat, it will damage the seat or end of the gate. Continue adjusting as needed. Once adjustment is complete, tighten the jam nut on the adjusting screw. After all adjustments have been made, actuate the valve closed and open one more time to ensure proper operation. If you have any questions about the proper installation, maintenance, or repair of your Deseric Cylinder Actuator, please contact your local Deseric representative or service center today.